I'm going to show you today how to fix a uh, Mac Magic Keyboard, and this is the latest generation. This is a uh, 2020s uh, version, the A1843. So this is a very finicky keyboard, and I nearly broke mine. Well, I kind of did, and I sort of brought it back from death. Uh, I ended up buying a new one, but I'm going to take that one back because I got this one working again. Um, this is, like I said, very finicky, so the first thing you want to do is go up and, um, let's see here, I'm going to put my finger up top. You don't want the top popping off because that's the very sensitive area, so I'm going to put my finger up top here, put this in, and pop it from below, just very lightly, doesn't take a lot of force, left, right. And then you're going to want to just slide this out. Don't pull it out because there is this area up here. This is actually how it goes on. This area up here, These. this is the slide on part, and those are very easily damaged. So um, you want to slide those out, and this is the part that pops off. And once you have that off, you'll notice this is uh, sort of goes very freely here. This is the butterfly hinge. Um, you probably won't need to take that off. Um, hopefully it doesn't come off of your key. And um, so now you can just like blow any debris out. <laughs> so now that we have that off, we have the uh, L key off and we're gonna now put that back on. And this is, this is again, this is an important order to do this in and this is kind of how I messed it up before. What I did before is I just pressed it straight on and that mashes down that top part and you're gonna, you're gonna, um, it doesn't break the key necessarily, but it um, you'll need a needle to actually get the to pry the top uh, portion out a little to actually be able to do this again. So, well, you, what this is the order you want to do it, and you want to press in like this very lightly and just slide this in until you feel it engage. And so it's going to be like that. This little bottom part is going to be popped up a little. The top's going to be sunken in, and now you can press the bottom in. And it's perfect. So now you can just, you'll feel that good action on it. Um, let me know if you if you uh, tried it the first way and you're here because you uh, sort of now damage your key. It's sunken in. That's, uh, when, if it's sunken and it won't raise out, it probably means this these top two little kind of clips are damaged or they're mashed in. And um, now they need to be uh, sort of taken out with a needle. Um, and restructured, and then try this method of sliding back in. Again, this is for this specific keyboard. I understand other years they flip this order around, but that's what uh, works for this one.